Welcome to our walkthrough uh, for our Sunday morning services. Um, we want to give you a chance just to, to see what uh, you, you'll see on the Sunday when you come, rather than having a whole list of, of do's and don'ts and, live and uh, things, things to keep in mind. So when you first come in, um, we'll have the door open for you already. There will, you can expect that there'll be an usher somewhere nearby, but our ushers have to sort of keep their distance too. So as you come in, you'll see that on the, on the right here, we have a dispenser for, for hand uh, washing. I invite you to, to use that. Um, and then uh, if you've come with a mask already, we, you probably have it on already, but if not, please do put it on and then follow me upstairs. When you come in in the morning, um, we, do, we will have an usher, but the ushers won't be handling the bulletins. Uh, instead, we ask you to pick a bulletin yourself and you can see that we'll have them all set out in, in this kind of fashion so that uh, you can just take the top one or top two, if they're, depending on the size of your, your group, and then uh, make your way in. After you get the bulletin, you'll come over here to the table here, and what we've got are, are uh, disposable masks. They're hanging up here for you to, to take. If you wish to wear gloves, um, you can take rubber gloves there as well. Um, there's also a sanitizer here for you as well. When you come into the church, you'll notice that we've marked spots in, on the pews where uh, people can, can be seated. There's also pews where there are no, no markings, and those ones are the ones that we're keeping empty for the sake of physical distancing. Um, if you are a, a couple, you'll both be able to sit together. If it's a, a larger family, then you'll just take up that entire, entire pew, and things should, should work fine that way. You can come up the ramp here on, on, with your wheelchair or with uh, your walker. Come on into the, the church here. As you make your way in, we have special places for wheelchair here. And also, um, you've got room for one more person in a wheelchair up front here. Or even, that's two if we have to. But you'll be able to be here in front of the the pews here to take one of those spots. When we're going to have uh, communion, uh, we are going to be able to have 10 people lined up. The ushers will will uh, in, allow you to come up and to maintain your, your uh, distance. You can see here that we've got uh, little green marks on the floor. So you just make your way around behind the organ there's marks along here too. You'll see on the on the rail here that there's a hand cleaner. We ask you to, to wash your hands at that point. And then you make your way to this spot here, which is where you'll you'll be uh, be getting your communion. Um, you'll receive the body of Christ here. Following that, you can you come over here, receive the the blood of Christ in this way. The cup will be laid down so that you can pick it up, remove your your mask, unless you had it still off, commune, and then you, you hang on to the, the cup, or you can set it down here, wash your hands again, take the cup as you leave the rails here for you if you need it as usual, and just put the cup in this basket here so that we can dispose of those after service. As soon as you've deposited your, your uh, communion glass, then you just make your way back to your seat, which should be a clear, clear spot for you. Remain, return to your seat, and then the usher will allow the next person to come up and, and fill, fill the space that, uh, that was vacated as we began to move. And of course, everybody else will move up one as well. During communion, um, myself and, and our assistant will come as we have in the past to serve those who are in uh, these front rows because they've come in uh, wheelchairs will serve you right here so you don't have to have to come up front.
At the end of, of service, um, one thing that's going to be different is we ask you not to rise and, and leave as, as we usually do in the, a whole, whole group, but rather to wait for the usher to, uh, to release your, your uh, uh, pew. And we'll, he'll be starting from the back of the church, making his way forward to the, to the front. So you're already welcome to use the washrooms while you're here. Um, we'll have, um, we'll have a, a bleach spray, water and bleach spray, and then of course paper towel. And we just ask you to wipe down any of the surfaces that you touched afterwards before you leave the bathroom. So it's clean for the next person. At the end of the service uh, comes what has often been one of my favorite times, and that's the time to greet everybody. Um, with a, a word, a, a hug, or a handshake. I can't do that anymore, but what I will do uh, is I'll be standing back about here and give you a friendly Christian wave, and you can do the same to me, however, however uh, the Spirit leads you. After service, um, we can't unfortunately have coffee downstairs yet, um, but we can, we've got a lawn, we've got driveway here, as long as we keep our distance, we can visit for a while. So uh, feel free to do that, because I'm sure it's a long time since you've seen some of your brothers and sisters. All right. Hey, no more, not empty again. <laughs>